What's going on guys, my name is Jay and in this quick video I want to show you how you can create animations with CSS. Here you can see that we have a very simple HTML and CSS, I just created like a, created like a, a box, a red box. And you can see that I have my height, my width, my background color and all that. Now I want to animate this box and kind of smoothly convert this box to a circle using some CSS. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add animation here. And we need to choose a name for this. Um, it, this can be whatever you want really. So I'm, my animation is gonna be named circle, something very simple. And my duration is gonna be one second, right? That's all I'm gonna have for now. Um, there is a lot of more options that we can keep adding here. And you're gonna see that in a minute, okay? So we have that, now we need to create our keyframes, which is the actual animation. So it's gonna be at keyframes. And after this, you need to put the name of your animation. So the same one that you uh, created for this, you need to put it in here. So it's gonna be a circle. And now you create your opening and closing brackets. Here you're gonna start in 0%. Open and closing brackets, and your animation ends at 100% open and closing brackets. You can add in between all the percentages that you want. It can be from 0 to 1 to 2% to 3% to 0, from 50 to 50% to 100%. All right, you get the idea. For now, we're just gonna do from 0 to 100%. Okay, so in 0, I'm gonna add border radius. This is just regular CSS, nothing, nothing special here. Um, and we're gonna start by doing, let's say 100, uh, I mean uh, 0% uh, starting border radius. And then 100, I'm gonna just copy this, paste it right here, and I'm gonna do 100%, oops. And you can see that the animation is um, is going on here. 100%. You can see it. All right, so it's going from 0%, 0% border radius, 100%, 100% border radius, and it's going back to zero again. Um, and it's not in a smooth transition. I don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is, I want the circle to stay there. That's what I want right now. And for that, we can add, after the duration, we can add something called forwards. And now you can see that the circle just stays as a circle. So it starts as a square, 0% uh, border radius. It gets to a border radius 100%. And it stays there because of these four words, right? So that's uh, that's a very very basic example. Now I'm want to jump to something more realistic, like uh, something that I think you can do for a website, right? So I have here I have here some content, and then I have here some scroll down and instruction, and then I have an arrow letting the user know that they can keep scrolling down. But I want to animate this, you know, like up and down, um, like an infinite loop. So it's gonna be up and down, up and down, letting the user know that you can um, keep scrolling, but you need to grab their attention, right, with that animation. So we have here some HTML, CSS, very, very basic. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing. So this arrow is, this arrow is this arrow anim. Arrow anim class, let's go here and let's add the same thing, animation. It can be, I don't know, bounce or something. The name, 
It can be whatever you want. Let's do one second. And now something different because I want this to keep, you know, in an infinite loop, like going up and down, up and down. I'm going to add infinite. All right. Now let's go down and let's add the keyframes. Let's go add keyframes. The name of the animation in closing brackets let's go again zero percent a hundred percent and here i'm gonna add transform just regular css translate y And zero, we're gonna start at zero pixels, and then I'm just gonna copy this. Paste it here. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you can see that it's working, but it's a lot. So let's just put like 20. All right, that's working. But you can see it's doing the same thing as just jumping, like jumping to zero, like going to 100 and jumping to zero and then doing this. Now infinite is working. So it's, you know, it's getting the loop. If I remove infinite, so it's just gonna do it once and then it goes away. So I'm gonna, oops, sorry. I'm gonna add infinite again, if I can write, there you go infinite cool it's working but i want a smooth transition i don't want to i won't i don't want to jump i don't know it looks it looks a little bit weird i just want a, a very smooth transition so one thing we can do is add alternate and now we can see that smooth transition alternate is just doing that smooth from 100 to zero transition very smooth so that's great that's what i want now what i want to do is i want to hold the arrow a little bit like maybe um half of a second up here and then goes down and then up and holds a little bit and it goes down again so i'm just gonna add here a zero percent at a coma and then 50 percent Let's see what happens. And look at that. That's what I wanted. So from 0% to 50% is staying in zero pixels. And then after, after 50%, it goes to 100 in a smooth transition to 20, 20 pixels. So I hope you understand that. It's, go it's going from zero to 50 is stuck in this one and then after 50 it goes very smoothly to 100 to 20 pixels and then it goes back again and again and again because it's an infinite loop and you can change the duration here so if you want it faster you can go crazy like 0.5 seconds which is um half of a second you can go crazier look at that or you can go very slowly two seconds and here you go and that's it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day bye bye